Hamlin at a pretty high rate of speed. Closing, closing. I'm out here, I'm out here. Boy, and 11 got in the wall just a little bit too. Right in the middle of turn four, car just goes straight. Just nowhere for Martin Trix Jr. in the one or Greg Bifflin in the 16 to go. Butt car gets a little damage too as it was going by. Not a lot of racing going on. These cats are on top of the wheel. Oh, and Kurt Busch is in trouble in a two car. He's got a tire down, it looks like. And he hangs on. Look at that car, Larry. I mean, it, it, it finally spins it out. Caution is on the speedway. They'll come to take six laps to go. Well, I'm impressed because that was that's a car that was headed for the wall and coulda, woulda, shoulda. For third place. Well, we got a car in trouble. That's Brian Vickers in the 83 car off turn two. Caution waves. Brian Vickers was that car that was three wide, way shoved up. And then the car, when, when Andretti went by, it just loosened the car up and man, up the hill he went. And just couple, nowhere for Stanton Barrett to go. A couple of really, really hard impacts right there. Yeah, Frank Keaty took a hard hit into the safer barrier. He's up the right side of that car. John Andretti has passed him. Andretti in the 34. Well, oh, it's the yeah. wall again. He's uh, pretty hard. That's pretty it. much out of it. We're in the wall, boys. We're in oh, the wall. Yeah. And yeah. I would say the caution will fly. Yep. The caution will fly. So this right, is going to come down. Right. You're all clear and nobody, only one coming behind you. Six just comes up from the bottom and uh, I think he must have hoped because he sure wasn't hoping that Matt would cut him some slack. But uh, that's two team cars. And uh, I think he probably, Reagan, hoped that Matt may give him a little break. Jimmy here. Let's see if Hornish gets up into him. Now, you know, Jimmy got loose. Uh, I don't think Hornish had anything to do with that. Jimmy just got snapped loose. Denny Hamlin, the 11, he's going to have some damage. Fourth caution of the day. Pole sitter Jimmy Johnson gets loose and is collected by rookie Sam Hornish. Around goes Johnson and Truex. Look at that. I love this shot. Oh, Stewart. Great shot. Contact. Oh, round goes. There goes Boyer. 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 Seven. Hang on to it. Just hold it. Hold it. Nobody's down there with you. Don't, turn left. Let, turn left. Sir. Let's go. Caution. All right. We'll be fine. We'll get some tires. No problem. That 88 car. I mean, it looks like a traffic jam. Oh, Mo Blaney's up the hill. Blaney's in, in wall. trouble. And in the wall off Mark Martin. Took Martin with him. Caution. Golly, gee. Trouble starts. Casey tried to move over to block. Tony got him. And it's almost like Casey was watching the 18 car. The 18 car started making yeah. that move, and Casey says, hey, I'm going with it. One of the things the guys say about this new car is it's... That is a hard lick. Inside, when, when you, inside. When that right just front goes down there. like that, the car just will not turn. He's up high, and he just loses it there. Comes down right. Just clipped Dale Earnhardt Jr. Got it him around. But now this is when it really is bizarre. Watch, watch this. Hornish already had damage, and the hood was up so he could, high he couldn't see out couldn't of the windshield, see. I don't think. Now watch Junior in the 88 come into this, Ooh. get clipped, knocking the right side sheet metal off and banging the left side. Now all drivers involved are okay. Hill's trail on the track that Hornish's car wouldn't stop or steer as he got underneath mirrors. It was dropping a lot of fluid and they ended up just tumbling him over. Yeah. Check into like view. I got a flat tire, loose wheel or something. No, I'd say that 15 was worth what the swerving started from. Man, that was goodness gracious how close could it be. Truex again. Yeah. Now the 19 was up high, about 10 car lengths behind Robbie Gordon. Well, he saw Robbie get loose, thought Robbie right. was going to smack the fence, kind of took an evasive action and ended up hurting himself. Now, Denny Hamlin is back in the race. He Let's ride along with Jeff Burton. When you die and you can see the dust just a flying, he just got up too high, locks it down. He gets makes contact with the rear of the car. Good job. See, I turned the wheels to the left. That kept the car from diving back into the wall. 
But Darrell, they pretty much have been in trouble since the drop of the green flag. You see the look here, he just loses yep. it up high. He said last night when we listened to him, the car's driving me. I'm not even driving the race car. And they made an adjustment when the, we went back to green. And, and in qualifying, is it the drivers at the track? Oh, this track's a lot like Dick Bergeron. It's just matured a lot. <laughs> and, uh, from, from a year ago, and it's aging. Yeah, and uh, I think the track's lost some grip, and the guys came here and tested totally different climate conditions it was cool overcast they thought these cars really had a lot of grip they really they, they've struggled here this week trying to get a setup to work on this slick hot racetrack and he gets loose right here and just gets up against the fence and it gets loose enough that it takes him down into Jamie and sends him down through the grass and Casey Kane has had a rough time all week long especially turn four yep and hasn't he had the flu this week, he sat out yesterday's uh, nationwide race because of it. I think half of NASCAR, there's what Darrell was talking <laughs> about there. That's how much air got under the left side of that car. But I think half of NASCAR has had the flu over the last couple of Napoleon days. Napoleon Dynamite would say, that's some cool air right there. <laughs> Watch this thing. That's when I saw it, it just was going straight up the hill, and man, it hits hard. Good news is, right there, all over the safer barrier some parts problems look at the top right of the screen as Gordon comes into view oh same look as Tony Stewart right no. front tire had to be down the car would not turn now Robbie was running one lap down this looked like it popped it right front maybe Patrick should have backed off a little bit or maybe Ryan should have you know given him a little bit more room definitely could have been a little more give and take I there. think just that was a big deal right there somebody didn't know they didn't work very well together they will take the 10 car to the garage what happens here? He gets down to the 43 there, Bobby Labonte. Looks like that little thing we were talking about, Larry, how these cars are not so successful, successful to uh, spinning around. She spun around. Especially when he was right on the inside of that car. It's like it just pulled him around. Here's a look at it. The five <laughs> inside catches Vickers. Yep. Five car just walked up a little bit, and as we've documented the entire race, you know, you're well over 180 entering into turn three. Doesn't take much. I bet his pulse rate isn't any higher than Mike Skinner's in the 27. No, I'm telling you. Who just missed it. Good job on Skinner's car, not to panic. He's almost in the like in the worst possible spot. He's got the 22 right up in front of him and the and the 18 right behind him and just really just almost lifted his car up. Plus, Terrell, we've talked about the wind gusts today. They haven't been much of a factor for Gordon, but look on the high side. Oh, Gordon comes up. Oh, he, no, got he, got, he got Kenton. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall, hard yeah. into the wall. Caution will wave. Caution will wave. The field is frozen. We'll oh, be coming back man. to four to go. Here's another look. And you're right, Daryl. Jeff's car just pushes up, won't hold the bottom of the racetrack. Couldn't hold it down. And this thing goes in here, and it hits an opening. That's oh. why it knocked. That's what happened. Oh, my God. It hit that opening, and it just ripped the front end off. Of There's it. no safer barrier there. No. no. Now, Jeff is okay. Well, let's ride along in his Chevrolet. Three wide, two above you. Still the outside, still the outside. Clear. That was one hard lick. But four here, he comes up off the corner. Oh, he just he just loses traction. He just had he just spun the car. Right, you're all right. You're all right. Josh is out. Just stop right there. And Darrell, yeah. you know that's the same problem as last time for Carl. We have Fox 3D, uh, which gives us a virtual GPS guided view of what happened, and there's contact from Kenny Schrader. But it looked like Robbie just turned down right on Kenny Schrader. I mean, Kenny was all the way at the bottom of the racetrack. And there's a look at it in progress. And I think when he maybe broke those struts was probably right there when he came down off the banking on the, the leaders did not. Here's what happened to Blaney. Watch that uh, second yellow car in the picture. Just came around, coming we, off the corner. We saw that happen a lot in Friday's practice car. Just once you're back to the throttle, and I'm telling you, he was a sitting duck there. They were coming at him left and right. Frankiti in the 40 car walked up the racetrack, got into McMurray, and then this. Oh. 
Frankiti gets into McMurray, nowhere for Schrader to go, and then there they just start stacking him in as he turned out on them. They just start stacking in behind him. It looked like they had it all straightened out, and then somebody made a sharp left turn, and they got together again. Menard got in the back of Frankiti almost before they got to the entrance of turn three. Here, car turns good right there. You're starting to see some smoke there. Like maybe he had a low tire going down or something. It looked like power steering fluid, like it blew a line off. You're probably right, Daryl, because I think that's maybe what the smoke was there. I'm crashing, Bert. Burton, of course, was battling Robbie Gordon in the seven car. Robbie's a lap down. Jeff came down the racetrack a little bit. and Jeff You'll see the contact. And you can see Harvick's car just walked up the racetrack just ever so slightly. That's all it takes here in the corners at Bristol. Here comes the two. E hello. Oh, brother, where art thou? Darrell, about uh, all you can say, there, just, my way. there was no give and take there. Nope. <laughs> it's a wreck here sometimes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but the thing about this place, you don't, yesterday we had one truck out of the race. Today we met, you know, all 43. He was just trying to hang on to it. Well, trouble turned four. Oh, Labonte gets spun by Amarola, and here's the... And Jeff Gordon looks like he'll just get his car stopped as well as Jimmy Johnson in the 48. There you see Truex Jr. in the one. This was a battle for second. And Eric just gets in there and gets in the side of Bobby Labonte and then around they all go. Chain reaction from there. And that's perhaps an example of aggression without patience. You see that? Oh, Sam. Yeah, just Sam lifted got, the rear wheels off got the him, ground. Got him up in the air. And then Skinner got into Hornish, and then and Hornish, Hornish hit Yalen. Yeah. Is why. It's more like a thunderstorm right here. Coming off turn four, David Wait, Rudiman. Rudiman, he gets around the eight. Gary Camarolo, he gets into the fifth in the corner. Oh, no, uh, he got a little shove. From Greg Biffle in the 16 car. I think he may have got a little shove. His wheels couldn't hop because they weren't on the ground. All of the track. And Matt Kenseth got in the back of Robbie Gordon as Michael spun around. And, and then it looked like Al Marola actually got into the left rear of Michael Walter. Al Marola in the eight car. Rico. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Hello again. Goodbye. Well, there's room for a shadow of doubt there. Slim. Very small shadow. Yeah. You see he enters the turn really, really high, and he's been doing that, but when you get up that high there's still a little bit of dust and the debris, dirt up there got too much you're of good. hang on you're good hang on you're good See, a, another advantage to this car mike it's a little bit slower in the turns and we heard him tell steve latart we need to go in fix this thing and start changing everything we need to turn this into a test session i cannot yeah. drive this thing for 500 miles yeah. like Just, this uh, steve said come to the pits get four tires he said no come to the garage and get four springs <laughs> To his Toyota. Just came up off turn wow. two, and the car just broke dead loose with him, Daryl. And, and and that's that sort of that transition area out of the banking onto the straightaway. And if your car is a little marginal, if it's already a little bit loose, they'll snap around like that in that area. Whether the team could switch points. Whoa, 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 guys! Whoa, whoa! whoa. Right. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. Take a look. I think you're going to see him get loose the minute oh, he yeah. turns down into the corner. Yeah, and he's just, man, and that thing just absolutely. I will guarantee you that impact was well over 180, probably 185 miles per hour. We've already seen 199 or better getting in there going straight. Oh, oh I, I, I can't even hardly watch that. It's a part of the racetrack, but Murray said was a little slick getting in. Not knowing if Michael changed his line a little bit, got a little too much into that speedy drive. 
Oh, my Lord. But that he walked away and waved to the crowd while walking to the ambulance after that impact is a great testament to safety of these cars and these racetracks today. If there's been any fans, if there's been anybody in our industry that has questioned the car tomorrow. But I think you're going to see that he got a lot more than just a scrape. The car just never turned when he nope. got to the late exit. Well, I know a place that's going to be busy. Dick Berger and Pit Road, here they all come. Starts with Ryan Newman's number 12. Now, I heard him say power steering fluid, and you know, we've seen a couple of incidences here recently of power steering pumps or boxes failing. That may be what happened to, uh, to Ryan's car. This is riding with our points leader, Jeff Burton, in the 31 car. Sliding away. They're saying it's a line that's on the uh, to the to the box itself. Here's what Tony Stewart saw. Now watch the 96 Yaley. Oh, that's where he gets the wall. Yep. And then he gets Johnny Sauter. And Tony Stewart, who we're riding with, he just stopped. <laughs> Dario Franchini. Surely wasn't Dario. Oh, there's, there's the 41. Yep. That front. The left front tire was down on that car. Now watch Montoya's big red number 42. I think that uh, Juan may have got a little help on that one. He and coming in from the right side of your screen, around he goes. He's going to just kiss the wall with the left rear corner. And that spin will put us under caution for the seventh time tonight. Right front tire down, uh, Mike. You can see that as uh, he just exploded. Watch this shot here. You just see the car take off. Bam. And you know a totally different type of a racetrack. Remember two weeks ago at Fe Just sick feeling. Man, you're in the middle of the corner and that thing lets go. Ah. I, I, TV can never do a blown tire justice. Toya. Whoa. There's the contact. Right Straight away, Menard. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Lock it down. He does. Job, man. 42 turns wow. Down. Everybody gets by. Woo. The top 31 cars Trouble. a second from each other. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Big one. Was Bobby Labonte getting turned. Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart, the one Martin Truex in it, and Jamie McMurray knocked down to the inside wall. Much trailing the field, a little contact with his teammate David Rudeman and Greg Biffle, and around goes McDowell. Yeah, that wasn't a problem because he was able to get out of the way, or at least we were thinking he was going to. But this down here is where the problem comes. Oh, look like it. McMurray moved up, but well, did he have I, help? I, I think Junior may have. I don't know if Junior got in the back of McMurray and shot him up the hill or not. It, it, and then 40 car. And then everybody. And poor Streamy had a yep. great run all day. Well, all these guys did, really. But uh, Nemechek, the pole sitter. Jimmy Johnson was involved, the 48 car. Harvick, Casey Kane, Elliot Sadler. brake key you can actually cook the beat of the tire you can see right there in turn four tire went soft couldn't even think about turning that car yeah Look on the right side of your screen from the Goodyear blimp he's next to JJ Yaley there the 96 he just uh, got loose and lost yeah, it yeah I don't think that, I think that left front went down when it did that right there <laughs> Darrell, that started all the way back in the front stretch, finished up coming out of turn two. Yeah, they got together over here coming all, uh, down into turn one, and then uh, Regan just took him out over in turn two. Krista. He didn't agree with what uh, Amendinger did, and uh, he just drove over here into turn two and just said, okay, buddy, you want to play like that? Try this. And the thing about it, Amendinger still on the lead lap, Regan Smith. I'm sure he's probably having a little difficulty with the tires. I mean, all three of those cars, their car was going to the outside, and it, and it just ran out of racetrack over there. Paul and, Menard had nowhere to go. He no. was being forced up, and Vickers was there. And I believe that that, that just knocked Yaley up in the outside wall, and then they started stacking up behind. You see Compartier and the 10 car hard in the inside wall, and it was on from there. It was uh, Carpentier's teammate, Elliot Sadler, couldn't check up quick enough, got in the back of Patrick. Boy, did you see Ryan Newman just go, all those guys going by on the apron, nobody really got slowed down very much. And, and Matt Kurt Bush, Kenseth. Kurt Busch in the two took a hard shot.
That was a hard lick on that inside wall by that 10 car. Now, Patrick Carpentier has climbed out of his car. He's okay. They just keep pounding. It's 17. He's torn up big time. Seventh caution flag of the night occurred. A.J. Allmendinger, the 84 car, Michael McDowell in the double zero car. Hard contact by both cars in the outside wall. Looked like there was a disagreement on space there. Ooh, looked like the 84 just really got in underneath the double zero way too hard. Couldn't stay off of him and wrecked them both. Casey loses a right front here. Or does there after the contact. Yeah, no, he just went over the top of Michael and I think Michael thought they were still racing. Well, let's ride along with Michael. Jamie McMurray. There again, well, three wide, and somebody can't, you know, just not enough room for these guys to do what they've been trying to do, especially getting into turn three. That's a tight corner. He carried a lot of speed in there. There may have been some contact. Man, that was tight off turn two. He's got him. I believe he's got him this time. Oh, he turned him. No. Oh, he turned him. Oh, no. no. Classic Darlington. You cannot do it. You can't get in that turn with somebody to your outside. That's what happens every time. Daryl Elliott Sadler put the left front tire down on the flat below the white line as he went in that corner. The wall somewhere. Dale Jr.'s car's got the right side scraped up. Ooh. And you know what makes this tough for the 77 car? Remember that each week the top 35 and owner points are locked into the show. We're headed to Lowe's Motor Speedway in two weeks for the Coca-Cola 600. And now caution is out. I mean, that is a hard lick right rear and right front. The caution is out. And I'll tell you who's loving that caution flag is Ryan Newman in the 12 car. He was just out in front of leader Dale Earnhardt Jr. He was two laps down, so now he'll only be one. And here's Casey Mears. He's, he's already smoking getting in there. I believe he had a tire going down, Daryl. Had all that look about yeah. it. The car never turned. Trying to get it woed up. Just got into him right there. I'm not sure what that was all about. One car just kind of ran over the 11. David Gilliland. Nice evasive maneuver. Right now. And there's Carpentier around. You know, he he was pretty lucky last night in qualifying. Not so lucky tonight. And he was way up the racetrack like he'd already chased it all the way up against the wall. He gets loose. Um, he gets loose way back in the corner, Larry. I mean, that's on corner exit. And uh, he just couldn't do anything with it. I have heard that since he announced his streaking strategy, uh, put under uh, 850 horse. Oh, oh yeah. Almondinger got into Sadler. Yeah, it's like Almondinger went up the racetrack and got into the back of it. Uh, he just got up there and got into him. This judge. Yep. We've had two cautions, and they each have been for a jelly. All of a sudden, right about there, right front tire for sure. No question on that. Straight to the wall. Brian Vickers and Casey Kane did a great job of scooting to the bottom and missed. Watch car number two, bottom of your screen. Yeah, yeah Daryl, something went down on that race car. Yeah. Yeah. See the flames come out of the right side of it, and then they make contact here. Then they make there's nowhere for him to go, and he gets the left wheels in the grass. And I thought sure that thing would go back in the road right here, but it, it held down there. You see sideways, just under 100 miles per hour, and he's going to stop right at the exit of pit road. Very, very fortunate that they did indeed have a loose left rear wheel. And he just hit the wall. He just hit the wall hard, Matt. And Bowen, around goes Gillilin. And everybody else gets on I the brakes. I think they're running over parts over there. I see parts flying everywhere. And a, and a wheel goes over the fence. Goes in the corner here. Oh, yeah, the yeah. whole wheel just comes off. But, Daryl, I didn't see any any hub or axle. It looked as if the, maybe the center broke out of the wheel. Break for Bobby Labonte, who'd been working hard to stay the first car on one lap down. There goes McDowell off turn two. 
and Labonte gets the free pass. Darrell, he just got up high, and the car just came around with him. Yeah, I saw that. He's after Jeff Gordon here, and uh, right behind him, and you see the car goes in, and it never gets to turning. So the tire was soft when he got there, and oh. then Yaley just pile driving him. Yeah, I mean, most of the damage on the 88 car was from when Yaley got in the back of him because he didn't have to move but a few inches till he got into the wall when the tire let go. There's look, something, the car won't steer. He can't get the car off the wall. He just See that little bump and run? And just like on the interstate, somebody back in there is going to rear in you. Martin Truex kind of got the worst of the domino effect coming into view and coming around. That's a burnout right here. Can't see anything. Digger won't be able to see a whole lot here in a second. Oh boy, look out. <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy. You talk Came about up out of that hole at the wrong time. You talk about it there in the 19 car. He comes down the hill. Oh, right in the front of David Gilliland. Get another look at it, but I and didn't see that David Gilliland did anything wrong. He was right on the bottom of the racetrack. Oh my Whoa, gosh. Bill Hamlin Elliott. came flying in there. Absolutely. Bill Elliott, the 21. You know, when you come under that, when you come out of turn two back there, Mike, under that bridge, down low, it's pretty hard for the spotters to see that point on the racetrack. See the 19 go up the hill. Here comes Tony, and he says, oh, man, please go down. Please go down. Boy, look at Casey Kane in that nine. He actually got some damage on the rear. The 15's the one that done a whale of a job. Darrell, we got up the racetrack. Yeah, you see him go up the track. Now, they're three wide here momentarily. Ooh, yeah, they did make contact. I think Joe thought Michael was uh, up the hill a lot further than he was, and he tried to slide right up in front of him. Interesting. Looks like all his tires are up. Looks like Whoa. he just got loose. And man, that's the last thing you want to do with one of these cars, the way these splitters are, is get in the grass because it just digs in like a snowplow. But he may have got away with it. Oh, he was up pretty high. Yeah, he was up. He was up. And you're uh, you're right, Wally. He's, he wow. got away with it. Sam. Jamie McMurray in the 26. Uh, yeah, he was trying to squeeze in a spot that wasn't there. That wasn't and there. McMurray didn't give him any, any no. room. But, but still, I mean, he drove up. Into the 26 car. Yeah, he could, he's there, but still saved it. And yeah, just some contact there. Hornish got into the 10 car of Patrick Carpentier. This is in turn one. And Sam in a backup car after a crash in practice yesterday. It looks like the 07 got yep. up under the, the 15 mm -hmm. and it got away from him. He corrects. And looks like probably got collected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Big hit. And my toy had nowhere to go on that yeah. one. It picked it picked the 07 up in the air. You could almost see from that angle. In motorcycle terminology, he's he's tank slapping right here. And then bang. That's a big hit right there. And he's Michael? He just entered high. He's way up high, still running in a straight line. There's two drivers trying to share the patch, and neither one of them got it right. But, but, but that's exactly what we saw earlier. The car not on the lead lap, 42 laps down. It was kind of in progress. Yeah. See if we can got another look at it. Nope. Kind of hard to tell. Those guys know. Under caution at Pocono. You see him hit the curb yep. right there. Yep. Not the day the point leader was hoping for. Been involved in a wreck earlier in the race. Currently scored 43rd. Wow. It would, you know, he's in the middle of the racetrack here. You see him, he comes up, and it, it just jumps from him right there. Yeah. Started 29th. Something like that. It's hard to tell an axle will do that. That's right. Hard. Gonna get it. He's by himself way back here. Rough weekend for Kurt Busch. Under caution at Michigan. This is 
now you're going to have an exciting 100 miles of racing. Look at these guys. Somebody's bounced off and run into each other back yeah. there. Mike, it's still yeah, there's some that? right front tire down on the Robbie, Robbie, Robbie Gordon. Gordon. He's getting ready to go on again. And that's not fun knowing it's coming. He just got run into the outside wall. Sorry, Kyle. No, 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 no. No. Here's the horn. The... Go ahead. I was looking at the wrong car, so I can't. <laughs> yeah, there he is. There he is. <laughs> And he saved it so many times today to, to have lost it right there. Right. But he did a good job not coming back up the racetrack in front of everybody. But this change, this change. monster moment. And this would be it. This is a caution that brought out the final yellow flag. Here they are in turn 11. You know, and look how much. Whoa, the, oh, Bobby, oh. around. Boy, that's going to cost him a lot of spots. One time. <laughs> oh, that's big. David look Reagan. at these tires. Yeah, look at that. They're tied up good. It's David Reagan in the six. You have to hit those tires hard to move them that far. <laughs> look at those. Up the hill, just lit it all up at the rear end, ended up taking to the dirt on the inside. Juan Pablo was completely unsighted, and all the time, the opportunist that is a young man in the... <laughs> that was just a train reaction. A yeah. lot of things that happened wrong on that deal. That's he pulled out anyhow. He's yep. there. He's there. Good. Oh, he's going to hit oh, the oh, oh, yes. Montoya. Oh. Yeah, there was no way he was going to hit Montoya. That's that. Look here. You see Elliot Sadler trying to outbreak him, and he just locked up his brakes and went straight into Marcus Ambrose. You can see the front tires were locked up on the 19 car. Once that happens, you can't turn it. And you and you look at the 19 car. He loses the position, so he doesn't get. And uh, this will be the replay of that. I think did uh, Biffle just touch his rear end? Yes, yeah. he did. So spun Jimmy Johnson out. He's having a great time considering just how good he was uh, right at the beginning of this race. So Jimmy. Here he comes. Yeah, something. Oh, yeah. Something. Uh, left oh, front tire went left down. Left front tire goes oh, down. Yeah. Oh man. Robbie Gordon helped oh! the 40. One just barely got by that. And Harvick just got in there way too deep, got on the brakes. Got... Oh, he just got oh, 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 run oh, over oh, by oh, Tony Stewart. Oh, my goodness. Like we said, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. I don't. Yeah, he may have gotten some help on this one. David Rudiman in the 44. But And, and that's a hard call because I'm going to tell you, David's got the five car on the outside of him. David's turning left and going. Thank the truck today, you realize. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Ooh. Oh. Looks like somebody was trying to get oh. the pit lane. The 88 it was, was. 88 was, and McMurray just had no place to go. I don't think he was expecting Earnhardt to be pulling off there. Oh, oh Reagan must have just got caught up in it. Wow. That's a hard hit right there, man. Now watch this. David's okay there. Oh, oh. Reagan just got nailed in a right rear. 07, and, the, and Hornish just clipped the 07 of Boyer. Man, how everybody else did a great job here. Now, you see the 18 and the 42 got through that cleanly. There was no problem. Now, you see the caution flag waving. Oh, man, 42 just turned into the 18. Oh, and he came yeah. back and got him. Yeah, the uh, 42 turned left, which turned the 18 to the outside wall, and he spun around and clipped him again. Watching for the 84. Yeah, and he there definitely, he definitely blew right front there. You see that easy. And, and that looks just exactly like the two car did in yeah. practice when the two car, you know, over in the middle and the 26 comes up right out next to the wall, just as we yeah. were talking about. And he just turned and, and that's, that's just where you're at at 45 laps on a run or with 25 or 30 laps on bot where these guys have run all these laps on these tires. And so, you just you want to make it to this part, Kyle, without being the caution. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 right know, front's going to blow on somebody's car. This is the longest we've run on tires. Watch his 77. He never turns a wheel. Wow. Never, man. never turns the wheel and avoids the wreck. That, that, that he just stayed the course, and, and I mean that was good. David Gilliland, the 38. He just got loose on that bump oh. and, and went to catch it, and unfortunately, 
Actually, Newman got away with it. Newman, got, Newman, that thing bounced off the wall, and then you saw the five car evidently got in the back. But you see, just like uh, the 31 said, you heard Burton say, I really didn't hit anything, and he didn't. The thing slid just straight as a shot down that short chute. It dug the left front end. But you see this car bounce and then take off. Bounce sideways, boom, up the racetrack. Newman had no place to go. But look at the front of Newman's car. It's just perfect, man. It's like nothing happened to the front of his car. He did, he did hit it pretty good with the right, right rear. side. But, yeah. But one. See, yeah, that is Vickers. That's Vickers. Yeah. And just barely turn. Just barely. Just barely. Pit road is open. The cars are there. Here's Ralph. Well, they're going to make a game. Did you wish your dad happy birthday this week? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday on the second. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 wow. He bit down there. That's incredible. Oh, he's trying to keep it. He's on the gas. Trust me. See, Ryan's down all the way oh, on the bottom. Oh, Ryan was just, he just got caught up in somebody else's mess. Uh, the 11 guy, yeah. the 11 got turned. I couldn't tell who that was. And Ryan was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all that was. And the first accident, Ryan's on the outside, gets pinned on the outside <laughs> wall. This time he's on the bottom. And it's for the six. Hit. Yeah, watch for the six. Yeah, right yeah. the six yeah, car he, got the 20 loose. Yes. And JJ did a great job of hanging on. But those guys, wow. this is a chain reaction accident right there. The, tw the six got into the 20, and everybody sees it, and they begin to check up. And we saw the 31 get run over a minute ago. He just got run over again right there. It's a, we've seen this so many times oh. tonight where you, you're they, coming they, from the bottom, you think you're clear, and you're not. It's Joe and, Nemechek in the 78. Sorry, Wally. And basically, yeah. you're just running over somebody's left front fender. Yeah, and, and you think you got the guy cleared, and you need that extra three foot of racetrack. That's all you need is that because you see him come straight off the bottom of the racetrack, right up, and get into Nemechek on the outside wall. But he. I'm telling you what, there's Michael Waltrip sitting there in the middle of that pack, too. Hey, hey guys, that, oh, that, oh, here we go. Turn go. to 48. That's Jimmy oh. Johnson. Oh! Rudeman got now, this one. This is bad right here. Oh. going back up the racetrack. Yaley is down there, look out! Nice job. Nice job by JJ right there. Car. Oh, Ooh. the 22 come out. He got bump drafted. The 8 car and, and the 88 slowed down. I can't see who's behind the 88. It looked like Blaney just turned left to try to avoid what was happening in, in front, front of, of him, it. and he caught the 48. It's Regan Smith in the 0-1. Oh, oh, there they are! Oh, now they're my wrecking. goodness! incredible <laughs> now the caution flag is out i think we got it that's ours there were five wrecks before the wreck my good i could not believe those guys waited i thought they wrecked coming out of four i thought they wrecked on the restart again the field is frozen when the caution comes out and nascar will use the scoring loops right here four wide right here you see these guys are sideways but they're gathering it back up they're gathering it back up the wreck starts right here if you see michael on the inside when the 77 comes across and the 77 got pushed over pushed right. over yeah, yeah. he got, he got 28 hit right. because they were bunching up so bad but you watch those guys there must be seven cars that run into each other from the start finish and line saved it. and saved it <laughs> yeah. until they get to the first corner now watch the six car here Look and, and then him and Boyer get way out of shape, like Kyle said. And all these guys behind him are checking up. They got to slow down, and they're trying to avoid it. Then all of a sudden, you'll see the 77. He gets run into by the 28 right there, which turns Michael. And that's what really caught. You know, that's what finished off the wreck. I guess yes. I should say. And you see JJ Yaley in that 20 car relief driving for Tony Stewart got caught up in it. You see the 10 car in front get loose, hit the wall. Michael was behind him turns left and turns down over the hood of the 31 and the 31's coming off the racetrack up so that's just chain reaction the innocent guy michael in this case gets spun out through the paint uh and ends up out in the grass bobby labani in traffic i never got touched yeah, it was one running 20th when that happened caution is out another restart coming up when we come back to chicagoland You see the cars return two. It looks like Michael just lost Michael the car. Got loose on the inside of Sam Hornish there. Looks like he's going to be okay there. Maybe he's spinning down to the inside, but the 15 had nowhere to go. I can say, I think Paul Menard got some damage out of that because he hit Michael pretty hard. Sam Hornish, very lucky there. He just, as Michael got sideways, he almost slid right up into Sam. 
And that's one of the things you face here as you're racing with other cars is as you enter these corners. Perfect. Yeah, Jamie, he did hit that wall very hard. He was coming off the corner. Uh, actually, it looks like Kyle or Kirk Bush lost the car and then hit the right front of Kevin's car, maybe blowing that tire out, but they both hit the wall pretty hard. Yeah, they did. So this wasn't a tire issue no. right there, other than maybe the right rear. Just being 17 car, Casey King going by. Whoa. And there it was. Oh, look at the pieces coming apart. Part of the window coming out. You're going close to 200 miles an hour at the end of these straightaways, and when that tire does go flat and the pieces start flying, I mean, it's a lot of force. You can see it just takes the entire right side quarter panel off of it. There were... Oh, oh, that's not good. Bird's on the racetrack, and uh, not a good situation. But Jeff Bird down there making the pass, and they picked up... Wow, he just gets loose, real loose here coming off turn three. Size a locker down. Yeah, that's one of the things the guys have, have said that that strip of pavement is there. But as soon as you get a tire or two off of that, then you start to, to lose a lot of grip. Let's look at the back bumper of Jeff Gordon's car. Two weeks in a row now, early troubles for both Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch. Yeah, just unfortunate incidents for both of these guys. Both had spins. Look like they came out no, no worse for wear early. That was at lap one for Harvick. This was at lap eight for Kurt. Boy, big spin out of Kurt. Here's the incident. Brought out to yellow, 78 sliding, Menard also sliding. And, and both uh, tag the uh, safer barrier in the outside. Doesn't look like Kyle Busch was involved in this at all. Wherever he hit the wall, it wasn't it around this area here. Opportunities. We see A.J. Allmendinger here. David Rudeman getting Whoa, his car a little sideways. You, and Rudeman will loop it around. Make the pass. It looked like he was pretty much under control, but they got together, whoever's fault it was. It's hard to say right there. Makes it even more difficult. We'll see him come in. Yeah, he's lost it way back up there. <laughs> he lost it early. Just carrying too much speed down in there. And, you know, it's a great place if you can get through there to, to make up some time to carry speed in there because you've really struggled all day long. They've been in and off, in, on and off pit road. Oh, P.J. Jones goes around. Yeah, a little contact from Sam Hornish right there. This is tricky turn one once again. I mean, when you come in that hard, you just got to believe the car got in the wheel hop and it slid off the course. And then he's right back in the racing line at the exit of that corner, and the traffic is scattering. Carl Edwards did an incredible job. Then Michael McDowell gets into the back of Gilliland, getting into the corner here. Oh, oh my goodness. It's the hard oh, one. Wow. Right across in front of Labonte, who backs that car into the guardrail. There comes the 77 of Hornish. He was involved. See, Ryan Newman just stopped in the 12 car. That was a lot of really, really hard hits right there. And um, as you can see there, Paul Menard just spun him. Then Ryan Newman just got turned into Dave Blaine and spun him into the wall. It's a uh, it was Paul Menard's fault. He started in a bit of a chain reaction and Dave Blaney come off worse. So Dave Blaney will be able to take it back to yeah. Pit Road. But uh, let's take another look at it. Yep, Menard spins the yeah. 12 car, which in turn clouts the 22 car and slaps the wall. And uh, that's going to take a few repairs. Yeah, I mean, that's more than a few repairs. That's done his <laughs> axle and his both his front suspension, uh, they'll be putting that behind the wall for a little while. But he was lucky, he didn't roll over here look, as he hit the wall. It went on his side almost, and uh, if it weren't for the safety fence, uh, he could have been airborne. Putting a positive spin on it there, I suppose. Yeah, he was lucky he wouldn't roll, but I'm sure he wouldn't like to be in that position anyway. So the Caterpillar car goes out. Let's go back to our commentator. Green, let's see if we can watch. Uh, there he is, right there. Oh. Yeah, there must have been a, f a fender rub there that cut that right front tire. That's the worst kind when it's really not smoking. It wasn't showing anything. We see from Kevin Harvick's view right here. Worst place to the the game. Okay. Here's Jimmy Johnson. Not as lucky. Contact and Johnson will slot broadside in the grass. Yeah. Turn four was his problem throughout the day. Yeah. Created his problems earlier and then a the problem there at the end. Protect the points. Look at that again, guys. Three oh, oh, oh. in a wall. Martin Truex Jr. and A.J. Allmendinger in the one and the 84, and caution is out for the first time in this race. We're going back and forth to get through traffic. There is Tony Stewart and the 09 of Sterling Marlin. 
Yes. The 09 got with the 77 to start all of that, and then Tony, uh, because the 09 came down, hit him, and then the. Yeah, it looks like then it was a chain reaction. Yeah. Uh, which is going to happen? 31, here. because yeah. he's probably trying to avoid this, and then probably Nemechek got into him. Top of your screen, that's Nemechek behind the 31. Let's see what happens there with that oh. contact. I believe the problem was Nemechek ran into Burton, started to slow down. He saw what was happening, and Nemechek didn't slow down and knocked Jeff Burton into the wall. One and two. There they are coming by the start finish line. Contact. There's Mears. Looks like Michael Walter was involved. No seven. Clint Boyer also involved. Yeah, what a wreck. Reed Soren's like unable to get stopped there somehow. Looks like this started with uh, he, he hit a lick on that right front. Right there. Yeah, that's going to. Oh, man. Oh. He's able to keep it off the wall. Border was. Man, look at all these other cars. Much his own way with this lap traffic, but then he gets to a certain few cars that, that give him a little bit more problem, but he's able to stay oh, in. We have one in the wall. Dave Blaney. Blaney just nosing down. Oh, just getting oh, by. Kyle Bush Bernard. just missed wow. 22. Wow. He came off a of turn two. He was in a pack of cars. It's another one of these things where you see these oh, guys yeah. get together. They're not quite clear. And then days of victory. Like to do their guys, job. Now watch this. Here it comes. No, nope. maybe it's just the wind off of them. Man, well, that's the wind's cool. blowing hard that way too. But somebody didn't. That's a heavy job. duty light too. Now it's a good just, thing I didn't hit a car. Yeah, exactly. That's a yellow caused by the yellow. <laughs> See, this is Joe Nemechek right here coming off the corner. You see, he just he had already made that overcorrection and pounded that wall. Boy, I tell you, he was probably lucky to they had those soft from safer barriers up there to hit. Oh, no, he's up at the wall. I ain't going to her. Just can't quite get it back straight right here. See, he picks up a ton of that dirt and grass up in that splitter. That's where he's thinking that he got a lot of damage to that front. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, he was out of control getting in there. Wow, look at that. Wow. Looked like those final laps a week ago at California <laughs> when he was hanging on. <laughs> and I'm sure Carl's aware of that. He's not going to do anything, even though he'd like to get that lap back or get in position to, to be, to make that happen. Oh, we Reagan see David Reagan. Oh, no. Matt Kenza. And, wow. And he gets contacted by the 17 yeah, car of Kenza. That was a... This guy's racing three wide down in the corner, which we've seen a lot, but looks like Montoya got in the wall before they got there. Yeah, that was a little strange. I, I didn't see a tire down, but that's what it looked like may have happened. Loose and then the 77, I believe, made just a little bit of contact. And both of them go around here. It's like the 77 of Sam Hornish got the worst of this. Mark Truex just spun his around and kept going. This time, They've been working on that car. Oh, they got well, together. And Kyle Busch goes He's around. This way to 185 laps, Dale. Yeah, I guess I was wrong about that. I think he meant two laps. Twice it's on pit road right now, and it's uh, unfortunately going to lose another lap to the leaders. That's really two identical spins, one off turn two and another one off turn four for Elliott. Walter's on board. Looks like Bobby Labonte gets a little bit loose right there. And then Carl Edwards, in trying to, to miss that, got below and got into the side of Bill Elliott. What happened? Carpentier got in here and got against Paul. Yeah. Both of them spin. A little synchronized spinning there. Menard gets the worst end of it. He does contact the uh, safer barrier up there, bringing out caution for the 14th time. Well, he's been trying to do this by himself all day with the, the problems that he's had, and finally the car just got away from him. He could have a lot of smoke there. Everything's fine right here. You can see he's down in the grass, no damage. I'm gonna drive around here now and get some tires, try to fix this bolt, and then bam. Where, yeah, he and the six car had had contact. But from Kyle Busch's on board, let's watch and see what happened to Nemechek. Not too hard to see what happened there. No one of Regan Smith got into the back of him and got Joe a little bit loose. That's what, not what we call arrow loose. That's mechanical loose. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you lose grip when you get hit. That, that's the type of racing that you get here, though. I'm not saying Regan Smith was totally at fault. He did hit the thing around trying to avoid it. 
Sure, again, these guys using all of this, and the 45 car just got loose down on the apron. I don't know how you run five wide off that corner anyway. Well, you don't, obviously. <laughs> Not successfully, anyway. Look at the 11 and 20 just getting by. Hamlin Ryan and Stewart. almost snuck through there. They can see him come off of the fourth corner here. And, uh, well. Yeah, he just wasn't quite clear of Michael McDowell. Yeah. It's a situation right there where the guy on the, you know, the outside could actually give him another foot and not cause a little problem like this right here. But see a replay here with David Reagan got a little bit loose. Michael Waltrip uh, really nowhere to go, just trying to avoid him, but uh, was in the gas wide open off the corner. It sends the six car for a spin down the back stretch. I don't believe he hits anything here. Nice job of keeping that. Uh, what's happening on pit road? Uh, it's the seven and the ten. They're supposed to be teammates, but that didn't exactly work that way. Robbie Gordon got into it. Jeff Gordon. Wow. wow. That was close. You see him race side by side. David Gillen just gets loose down into going into turn one. And we talked about this all weekend long of how difficult it is entering these corners. You overdrive it just a little bit. The car bottoms out right there. And the next thing you know, you're up into the car beside you. Kurt Busch had a great time, Carpentier. Yeah, you can see him get loose right there. Jimmy Johnson down on the inside, so he's just hoping that he does. Oh, Ooh. wow. How close is that? If he just clips the right rear corner of that car right there, it's going to shoot Jimmy Johnson in the wall, and then you see Carl Edwards get just a piece of that. Yeah, I thought Carl actually got the outside while one. Heavy contact for Joe Nemechek's Chevrolet. Just got a little damage from that tire coming apart. He's almost back to pit road now. Yeah, there it comes. Uh, yeah, the tire completely goes away. Didn't hit the wall. He slowed down just enough to stay out of trouble when it did blow. Laps and get a caution. He'll get back on the lead lap. They're doing a good job so far. Whoa, oh, we got trouble. trouble off turn two here. Make Robbie Gordon turn three. And there's the seven car. Good Robbie Gordon. Inside damage. Wow. See Jamie and Murray just stopped right there. God. Hey. He's up in the sixth spot right now. Bro, oh, oh. trouble. Couple cars sliding up there. Yeah, the bu CMP. bumper panel just flew off of one of those cars. Looks like Sam Hornish is now. He's in the wall. Yeah, Hornish slides up and tags the wall. He was sideways in the previous turn. All 77, one in Keep it up there. Keep it up there. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to Kyle Petty? Looks like Kyle coming. Looks like he got on the apron, Rusty, just a little bit with his left side tires, upset the car, dewedged it, and sent him for a ride. Yeah, it looks like it's totally unrelated to the dry, fret, dry shaft incident right now. So we've got two things going on in the racetrack. He gets a little bit of help from the five car, it looks like. You can see all these guys back out of the throttle. Everybody did a great job behind him, giving Matt a chance to get well, that Matt, car out of their way. Matt's the one that did a great job there, boy. I'm going to tell you, that was a... I mean, that was something else to say that race. Yeah, car. here's our thing that he's there and then there's contact. So Casey just didn't get slowed down quite enough. What's he doing to try to save this car, DJ? Praying and That's driving. <laughs> no, he is driving. You can see he's got the wheels turned to the right. He in the gas, just trying to get away from all of those cars that are coming towards him. A great job by Matt Kenseth there. Prayer and throttle. That's yeah. the two things you've got to work in your. Let's see what happened here. Guess who? The 83 of Vickers. Oh, makes pretty good contact with that left rear, Brian Vickers. Brian may have to look at that left rear tire. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they had the altercation. Actually, it was one of Vickers' crew members that was on the hood of the 20 car, and now the 20 goes for a wild ride. That shot right there shows you just how fast he's going sideways. <laughs> Over 160 miles an hour through the infield grass, and here's the incident we talked about a moment ago. Tony trying to leave, and the gas man for Vickers on the hood are trying to get him off. Crew member kicks the door of the 20. Not real happy about Tony coming through the edge of their pits. His way, contact. Yeah, David Reagan looks like I did just a little bit in the back of Michael Waltrip, and that sent him up into the 77 of Sam Hornish. Could have been a lot worse than what that was. But around these guys, on, they made the long way around and went to the front. Oh, trouble. David Rudeman sideways. Right rear tires up down on this 44. Oh, no, Jeff, Jeff Gordon. Gordon's torn up. Oh, man, this is going to kill him in points. And he is nosed into the uh, wall. We'll how bad is it? I think you just, these things, when you make a hard turn like this, you just lose control of them. Now, let's see, right there it is. He has to make, yeah. Oh, There's nothing you can so do. So close. 
you have to turn to miss him and then you just lose control of the car the back because Dale Jr. is the leader of the race oh, right there man. yeah tire blows well he just gets uh, misses the 31 nine cars involved into the 38 look at Bobby Labonte Bobby, he's fishing his way through that I'm telling you he missed two or three guys by inches then you see Martin Truex had a hard lick on that inside wall. How did, the, how did the 31 not get hit here? Watch the car come across right to Burton, right there. Oh, that was good. Well, didn't we say in the top of this you had to be lucky? So uh, that's one of those times it was lucky. You see Terry Labonte spinning down through there in the 45 car. 70 of Tony Raines involved. The race, let's watch again what happened. Watch, watch the right front. Oh, that is a hard Rain. impact. Thank goodness for the safety, safer barriers there and all of the things that NASCAR has implemented inside, including the Hans device Here, in there. Catch your breath. That was a hard lick. Yeah, hard Definitely change. got some kind of issue right here with these tires. Yes, we do. All the way from the bottom of the racetrack, from that yellow line all the way up into the uh, safer barrier. Pretty good driving and a lot of luck. You see. 88 backing up. All right. Just got turned there. Harvick couldn't go any further up. He was on, he was hitting Jeff Burton. So just a product of this type of racing. I think. Woo. Oh, oh got trouble. trouble up front. Biffle right in front of Junior. Carl Kids Edwards. Is in it. Oh, and turns Quackle yeah, into the outside wall. Around and Kevin a lot Harvick. of chasers involved in this one. Oh, 17. I want you to get off of there if you can drive it. This is definitely the big one we were looking for, guys. I, you know, I was afraid, I was hoping we had not seen, or we had seen it and we wouldn't see this, but. Greg Biffle up on the high side, making a real run. You see Blaney gets turned a little bit there, but that was okay. That looked like that could be big, but the trouble's gonna start right up here in the front whenever, looks like maybe the 99 gets into the back of the 16. That's all three Roush cars that it takes out right there, and Dale Jr. Look at Jimmy Johnson just squeezed by this. There's and still some wrecking ahead of even of Jimmy Johnson yet. We talk about bump drafting. It's hard to see from that angle we were right there, but bump drafting in the corners, you have to believe that Biffle got a shot right there. I don't think that the car would just turn sideways. Jimmy Johnson right there in the middle, just behind Kevin Harvick, who was involved in the accident. But Jimmy Johnson's going to slip through. See Jeff Burton down the apron. Let's watch that to happen. Wow, that 48 car was just amazing getting through there, too. say the car's been tight and that's concrete he hits right there that cypher barry had ended before he hit yeah. it there Pro for this week oh yeah that's going to get it they were Ooh, man. about three wide there you can see that he kind of got squeezed out of the middle into the wall hard head first and then back in into the wall anytime that you see a race car take a right hand turn it's it's not good i mean even no. if you, you get spun uh oh somebody sticking in oh, there's the problem michael walter got into the grass then Kenny didn't give him quite enough room right here. That will move. That cost a little give and take getting done in turn one. Does that. And yeah, these guys are racing awfully hard early in this race. One and two on above Jeff Gordon. It gets into the wall just a little bit there. Now he could have lost the right rear tire. Or actually, yeah. look up right there. He just like maybe got loose. Middle car top of your screen there. Yeah, Paul Bernard gets on the top side of uh, Bill Elliott, who then gets into the 70 car. Just kind of got squeezed in there. And uh, Tony Range wasn't doing anything wrong, just got turned. And then behind this, you can see the 28 and the 17 get together. Watch a 28 come up and just hit the wall head on. Oh, oh. And that's not where they've got a lot of safer barrier on this front stretch through the triangle park. And that's what Tony Raines hit. I believe Matt Kenseth might have hit the safer barrier, but not the 28. He's down into the concrete there. 29.
He's definitely sideways. You see him chasing it up the racetrack, working wow. hard. Wow, he almost crashed right there. Here's Kyle Busch back there. Looks like Michael Waltrip and the 43 got together. I don't know if there's something on the racetrack there with all of these cars sideways. Yeah, Michael gets the 43, and, the, and Mears just tries to go through the grass to avoid both of them. Yeah, there's a lot of cars that were sideways off of that corner. You just have to wonder if there was something on the racetrack there. Slow down. Look like he got too much rear brake. I saw that the back wheels just lock up when he came to pit road. Yeah, and I saw Tony Stewart coming to pit road, and I was going to comment that, boy, if he didn't get on there too hard, he did a great job of, of getting in there. It's the six, he'll get in the mix here too, and these guys aren't finished here. David Reagan said, let me get out of town for you. Well, right there. Crash. I believe that's what cut the left front tire down to send Montoya into the wall. You can see it's smoking there, but right here and coming up out of turn two. You can see that he got a little help from the 22 of Dave Blaney. See these guys racing down in one Pablo Montoya gets into the 44 UPS Toyota of David Rudeman, who then gets into Travis Coffin. So he's moving his way back towards the front. Already back Whoa, in the top got five. Some Get into the 26 of Jamie McMurray. He didn't get the break on you there. He got you. With this, we see the replay. Just gets yeah. into the corner too hard. And may not have had I think uh, he had a problem with that he front. needed. I think he had a problem with the front brakes and when he got the 17 car. See, Matt Kenson just gets real loose. I don't know if that tire went down the right rear before that or uh, whether this uh, contact is what blew the tire out. With the eight car of Eric Almarola here. Uh, oh, ooh. just a little bit of a misjudge on the uh, part of the eight car there, it looked like. That's more. not the direction you want to be headed when you go in the no. corner. What we saw earlier. Right here, you can see that tire blow on Tony Rain's car. Gets up into the safer barrier. And he was able to limp around and get there. See Paul Menard. Now, this is the same lap, just down in turns one and two. There's the right front tire. Now, neither of these brought the caution out here. Then Bobby Labonte goes around, and that traps Greg, Greg Biffle. Oh, we see now why he went around. Because A.J. Allman here ran over. Yeah, yeah th this was the longest green flag stretch we've had today, guys. 54 laps. So we saw those right front tires having issues. And here with David Gillen. Yeah, you see that like, splitter yeah. just cut that left rear tire. Mm -hmm. And Gillen was running in 28th position. This the 11th caution flag of the day, and that will turn four you see Reagan all the way down the inside I believe he's got a five tire Reagan, Reagan, Reagan spins out, guys, out. got one spun a bill one and two well he's really been struggling with this car you see I mean it's just out of control he finally just cannot save it and now he spins all the way around blows all four tires out Got in the wall just a little bit right there. Looks like he was going to try to get down to the pits. Doesn't quite get there. Guys, right here, guys. Four tires. With the debris that you can pick up as that goes up towards the top part. Looks like Michael, uh, yeah, into the wall one. again. Yeah, right after that tire, you side, can hear the tire blow. Side, two of them. Looks like another right rear tire going down, maybe on Michael Waltrip's car. He's really struggled with that thing today. This yeah, it looks like it's up now. Looks like he maybe just lost it. Yeah, just got loose down the bottom. They've had to literally put almost a whole right rear quarter panel on that thing. Enter turn three right here. Blaney sliding backwards. There's the contact with Burton. Yeah, it looked like uh, Blaney tried to come down, thought he had that slot open, and Jeff Burton was trying to fill that spot on the bottom of the racetrack, and they got together. Close calls right there. Cars just missing this accident. Restart. Racing gets awful close to that. Oh, oh my goodness. Elliott Sandler, the 19 car, and there comes the 47. It's just close racing on uh, these restarts. A lot of speed. Times are getting faster now. And these guys getting a little bit more racy. Four wide. Looked like Elliott Sandler had a problem. You could see something flying off the car uh, back there, just behind Elliott. I don't know if he had something to, to go wrong with his car. Sure Let's, got him jammed up here on the front stretch. Let's check out our Allstate Good Hiss contact. I'm telling you, there's no yeah. excuse for that right there. No, there's not. That's going to be uh, at least a heavy fine, if not more.
for David Gilliam. For more monster moments, check out NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile. Back with a restart here in just a moment. See, they race down into the corner. 77's already out of control there going into the corner. He loses even more control and gets into the side of Elliott Sadler. They both spin. I think Elliott actually got the worst of that. I and mean, you can just see how difficult it is to run side by side. That's why I, I was saying how what a neat race it was when we saw the 99 and the 18 able to do this while under control. He started back in 31st spot, dropped back to 39th. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Hard, hard impact by Brian Vickers. Hold it up there. Hold it up there. He's going to bring out the there. caution. Debris. Watch the Montoya and the contact there with the five oh. car Mears. Wow. And just hard racing through that, do that dog leg. Yeah, Casey Mears' great day went south in a hurry. And all these other guys see are getting involved here. Oh, Marcus Ambrose having a good run there. Looks like he got a piece of that. Yep. Got into the back of Riggs. Zero one able to get through. Whoa. And then there's the contact with the 84, the 70, 38, 77 up against the wall. 70 who just got back onto the lead lap and help Jeff Burton out on lap 261 on that pit stop. Jeff Burton said, I just can't hang with these guys. I have no grip. I cannot drive with them. So they made an air pressure adjustment. And as you can see now, that 31 has certainly come alive. There's a caution flag that Ray Everton predicted would happen. We can see the 18 and 41 get together. I was wondering which one going into the corner. There's Almendinger on the inside of Kenza. And there really wasn't any room on the inside of Kenseth right there. But A.J. was trying well, to there, make him. So. There, there wasn't any to start with. <laughs> and Jimmy Johnson wins for the seventh time this year. World contact. Hard lick for these cars. That's a bad way to end the race. A lot of cars getting torn up here. Six, seven, eight cars involved. Stewart's involved. Glad it wasn't them bringing out the caution. You can see him get loose there. Like he just got behind on the steering a little bit. And just like Dick Beatty used to tell us, the old director for NASCAR <laughs> competition in uh, That's the right. Cup Series, he said, turn her left and log her down. Everybody trying to take Hold some evasive action here. He still can't get the pit road. Not gonna He's going to have to go another, around another lap. It's going to cost him a lot of time. Now he missed that access. Whoa, he's, he's in the, the wall. wall now. He missed the All access right. road. Got the right side, guys. Come to pit road here. Caution. And we'll bring out the caution. Wanted to be able to have a guaranteed starting spot. Oh, there's the, exactly what you're talking about, the Sorensen on the 41 car. Yeah, I don't think Ambrose knew that he was up there. He thought he was high enough on the track that nobody should be on the outside of him there. Turned him right into the wall. Yeah, you can hear him say that he was on the inside. Joe Nemechek just came down a little bit. Not sure he knew that Jeff was there. Looks like Jeff's car was actually pushing just a little bit. Yeah. Too. Caution's out, so caution's just came out. Together. Yeah, just kind of ended up in the same spot. He's going to have some damage on that right front fender, so he'll have to get fixed. And coming across the racetrack. Well, folks, we've had one yellow flag in the first 140 laps, and now the sun's gone down, and everybody's getting racy. Okay, about a lap and a half later, he went down into turn one then. That right rear tire was flat, got into the wall. A lot of debris as he comes down across the racetrack. Guys, we got 68 laps to go. What do we do, Strata? We've had some long green runs. See Kirk not able to hang on. He had to tire down, got into the wall. I'm working that steering wheel inside, just trying to keep it. And there comes some debris off what's Man. left of that tire. Yeah, the tire in the inner crush panel. 